Hello, I'm Dr. Lee Cohen, sports podiatrist and podiatric consultant for the Philadelphia Eagles and Philadelphia 76ers. We treat sports injuries of the lower extremity. That include injuries to the hip all the way down to the foot. Today, we will talk about stress fractures and stress injuries that can occur in any bone in the body. Today, Jen is with me, who's a soccer player from St. Joe's. When we saw Jen, she had pain in the bottom of the foot. Remember, stress fractures can occur anywhere in the body. In Jen's case, after we examined her, we noted she had pain all the way underneath the ball of the foot. When we moved her toe up and down, she also had pain. She could barely walk on this foot, let alone practice. After an x-ray, and after a full examination, watching her walk, checking her shoes, we determined that that indeed was a stress fracture. Stress fractures occur from overuse. Maybe she ran too much that day, maybe the shoe cleat bothered her, the surface that she was running on, maybe she didn't warm up enough, she was doing too much too soon. Those are the most common reasons that people suffer stress fractures. Remember, they can occur in the leg, the ankle, the knee, or the hip. So today with Jen, what we had to do was initially get her out of pain. So we got her into some great physical therapy program, and then we went into a shoe insert that helped take the pressure off of that area until it was allowed to heal. This whole process can take anywhere three weeks to six weeks. In Jen's case, we were lucky because she had really quick healing and listened to everything we said. This is a narcotic device. We developed this for use with overuse injuries, such as shin splints, stress fractures, overall joint and body pain. It helps correct postural alignments. In Jen's case, we're using it to correct her foot mechanics to take the pressure off of that injured bone. To get to this product, we had to take a custom mold of Jen's foot. This is done in plaster of Paris. And then we take the plaster mold, send it to a laboratory, and they fabricate a device such as this with the measurements and the prescription we send along. It is custom molded, so that means it will be an exact replica of Jen's foot. Remember, I said that we take a custom molded device, and this is an exact replica of Jen's foot. What we do is we add correction. So you can see that this area here perfectly matches Jen's foot. This keeps her foot in a neutral or normal alignment. We also added a correction to keep the weight off of the big toe area, and that's seen. Here's that important indentation that keeps the pressure off Jen's stress fracture. 